Hi, I'm Sapentia. This is very introductory statistics course for beginners. T-test 4, one and two-tail test. Simple but important. In prior class, we learned the G-test. G-test used the G-score, and now you know the G-test with the G-score and G-table. But we need to know one more before T-test. Um, do you remember the statistical hypothesis? If you know, okay, we go on next. But if you don't know uh, the statistical hypothesis, please refer to the what is the statistical hypothesis and error. That is a prior classes. And in this class, we need to know what is the one tail and two tail test. Okay, let's go. What we must know is one tail versus two tail test. Um, here we should know, understand these two tests. Let's remind the t test example. We want to compare the male student's average height of college A and college B. In this case, college A is mean value of male student's height was 178.5 cm. For college B, the average was 179.9 cm. In this example, we applied our statistical hypothesis. It will be like this. First, the null hypothesis is x a va. Here, x a means college a, and va means a mean value because we have a sample, so we cannot use a mu. We use x bar. Here, college a's mean value is called x a va, and this is x b va. Okay, so the null hypothesis is equal these two average. As I said, the null hypothesis is equal to zero. And in this case, we can apply this kind of alternative hypothesis like uh, x a va is not equal x b va. Okay? Um, this is a two tail test. However, I will let you know what is the difference between the uh, one-tail and two-tail test. Okay. Here, I show one-tail versus two-tail test statistical hypothesis. First of all, as you can see here, the upper side is a two-tail test. Let me see one by one. This is a one pair of uh, statistical hypothesis. The null hypothesis is x a va equal x b va. And alternative hypothesis is x a va is not equal x b bar. And uh, here we can change the alternative hypothesis like this. These two pairs are same, okay? The null hypothesis is the same. However, the alternative hypothesis can be divided into two parts because is not equal means is the larger or less. So is not equal includes two cases. X A bar is larger than X B bar or X A bar is uh, smaller than X B bar, right? Logically, these two are same. And we can change also this hypothesis like this. These two are same, okay? These two are same. And also it changes to like this. We just move this xb bar to the left. And then, so xa va minus xb bar is I just 
uh, write down as uh, D A minus B. D means the difference. Okay. So A and V's difference is D A minus B. So in this case, D A minus B equals zero. This is our null hypothesis. But this and these ones are same. Okay. And the alternative hypothesis is changed like this. DAB is larger than A0 or DA minus B smaller than 0, right? So here, these three types of or three pairs of statistical hypotheses are totally same, right? This one, this one, and this one, three pairs of statistical hypotheses are same. These are two-tail tests because in alternative hypothesis, we include two tails. But if we change these two tails hypothesis to one tail, we must choose only one of the two. For example, here. Okay, the null hypothesis is same. If you check this one, these two are same. The different thing is alternative hypothesis because here we just choose one of the two. So here we uh, made our uh, alternative hypothesis as xa bar is larger than xb bar. And we also move this part to left side, so it changed like this. The A minus B is larger than zero. This is one tail. And the other one tail hypothesis is here. As I said, the alternative is the same in all cases, okay? Just the null hypothesis, story. The null hypothesis are all the same, but the different point is alternative hypothesis. Here, we made hypothesis like um, xa bar is smaller than xb bar. And also this move to left side, so it changed to the a minus b is smaller than zero. This is also one tail. As you can see here, two tail tests include left side and right side. But in this case, larger than zero means we just check left side. No, right side. But this is left side. Obviously, I will show the picture uh, in next slide. Okay, first, uh, this is the two-tail test, statistical hypothesis. The statistical hypothesis are same in prior slide, okay? So null hypothesis is the same, alternative is not equal. Not equal includes two cases, larger or smaller, okay? And this can be changed larger than zero, smaller than zero, okay? All three cases are same. In this case, for example, our example was uh, uh, just we want to compare the two college male students' height. So our question was, what is the probability that many students' height of college A and B are same by chance? This question, this statistical question could be changed like this very simply. What is the probability that the mean difference here, the mean difference is 1.4 centimeter, is occurred just by chance? So, as I said, our reference point is 5%, right? If we applied normal, distribu normal distribution like this, the left side and right side, two tails are our interest and also we want the probability this probability from this distribution right maybe you know um, this process from the g-test 
Anyway, so here our hypothesis is uh, larger or smaller, and these two should be sum up. So in this case, we just interested in the area, sum of area of these two area. Sum of these two areas are larger than 5% or smaller than 5%. That is our interest. Okay? So, in this case, we need to sum up these two areas, probabilities, and then check, is it larger than 5% or smaller than 5%? If it is larger than 5%, it means that this event is occurred by chance. But if this probability is smaller than 5%, it means that this event is not occurred by chance. Okay? Next. Next one is a one-tail hypothesis. We have two types of one-tail hypothesis. Okay? As you can see here, uh, the null hypothesis are all same. Okay? But the alternative hypothesis is different here. For example, xa var is larger than xb var is the same, dA minus V is larger than zero. This one is larger, okay? We have a, a zero point is here because we have a standard normal distribution. So it means that uh, we want a right side tail is our interest. So here, we just want to know this red area is larger than 5% or less than 5%. That is our interest, okay? On the other hand, if we have uh, XA var is uh, smaller than XB var, in this case, this is changed to DA minus B is smaller than zero, okay? This one is uh, left side, left tail test, okay? You understand here? So, the one tail, two tail test means uh, just to uh, which tails we should choose for our 5% reference. Okay? So, consequently, the difference between one tail and two tail test is just difference of alternative hypothesis. For two-tail test, this two-tail test includes both larger than zero and smaller than zero, two cases. So both left and right tails are considered, and we test if the sum of two tails are larger than or smaller than 5%. That is our interest. On the other hand, for one-tail test, uh, this one is uh, divided into two categories, larger than zero okay, or smaller than zero. So only one tail is considered, and we test if one tail area is larger or smaller than 5%, right? So finally, if this probability, one tail, two tail, anyway, this probability is larger than 5%, it means that this event is occurred by chance. But if this probability is smaller than 5%, it means that this event is occurred not, not occurred by chance. Okay, I will stop here today. T-test for one and two-tail test. Simple but important.